Your spirit guides and loved ones are communicating with you in seven different ways. This is what they are. Number one is through seeing, but not seeing them with your physical eyes. You're going to see them with your mind's eye, and this is what it looks like. They're going to look the same way it would look as if you closed your eyes right now and imagined a basketball. And this is how you tell the difference between your imagination and actually seeing them. When it's your imagination, you're conjuring up the image. When it's them, you're receiving the image. They feel totally different. Number two is through hearing, but you're not going to hear them with your physical ears. Ears. You're going to hear them the same way you hear your thoughts. It's kind of like seeing. You're not the one thinking the thought. You're receiving it, and the two feel totally different. Number three is through a knowing. This is where the information comes to you in lightning speed. It comes so fast that you may miss it. It's also like getting that gut feeling, or when you get a piece of information, but your mind comes in, you start second-guessing it and wondering if it's really real. That first piece of information that came through is the knowing. Number four is through feeling, like you're feeling their energy or their presence. This just means you're getting these bodily sensations. You're starting to get the chills, the tingles, the hairs standing up in your arms. Maybe you're getting temperature changes. You're feeling lightness in your chest. All of those things are you sensing their energy or presence. And what's happening here is your energy is interacting with your spirit guides or loved one's energy. And that's what you're feeling in your body. Number five is through emotions, or as I call it, empathy. Contrary to New Age spiritual beliefs, we are all empaths, and all that means is that you can feel and sense the emotions of others, and that's literally the definition of empathy. So if you all of a sudden get hit with this wave of emotion when you're communicating with your spirit guides or loved ones, know that that's them. Number six is through taste. Now this is you tasting something without putting anything in your mouth. Like if you're talking to grandma and she's known for her apple pie and all of a sudden you start to taste it, that's her. Number seven is through smell, and this is similar to taste. You're smelling something without the presence of it. A really common example of this I hear all the time is let's say a loved one smoked and you start to smell the smoke when you're communicating with them. That's them just letting you know they're there. Start talking to them. If you want to learn how to connect with these spiritual senses and abilities on a very deep level, then give me a follow.